I'm Sarah Fritchie. I'm the visual arts coordinator at Artspace. We mount basically five exhibitions per year, and one of the main components is City Wide Open Studios. It's an unjuried, uncensored opportunity for artists in the community to show their works for four weekends over the month of October in four different sites around New Haven. So we bring the art to the downtown space, but also out to the neighboring communities. Every year we, we pick one site that is within New Haven that is not being used, and we set up a sort of like labyrinth of studio spaces so that artists can bring in a lot of their work, put it in this space, and then we present viewers with a map and they can walk through and, and interact with all the artists in a, in a place that feels like their studio. Because instead of getting to see one or two works, you get to see a whole body of work. There's an encouraged exchange and that's the mission of City Wide Open Studios, is to say, recognize your neighbors, recognize other people who are working around you, because so many times we sort of retreat into our own zones. And that's the time when everyone comes out of the woodwork. They're really excited to present their work. And because it's over four weekends, if you're not showing on weekend two, you can go to weekend two and spend that doing the looking. And then the weekend two artists can come look at your work if you're showing on weekend three. So that's, that's the exchange, is like, artist to artist conversation, artist to artist critique. So the, the exchange is, is our goal and we're, we're figuring out ways to really make that happen from an artist to artist because we want that communication to happen so that there's a stronger arts community. So like I said, each year we pick a different site in New Haven and we actually, for the first time, the Gough Street Armory went back for a second year. Its history is it's a really mixed use. We have part military and then part social, but like Everything that's happening there is really coming around the fact that it's just a, an enormous empty space and a hall for interaction. Recognizing its potential use as another place for exchange between audiences that may have never seen artwork before um, or audiences that may know it really well because it, where it's situated, it's in a traditionally lower income family housing neighborhood and so it's about saying, let's open this up, let's invite people to participate in an art space event that might be too far out of the city center to come to the openings here. So that's, that's it. It's saying, like, how do we engage or add to a community by offering this sort of like educational experience and engaging experience of, of part of the community that they might not have access to regularly and really inviting that community in. And that really points to sort of our mission which is to encourage participation and viewership that is in the downtown, but also outside of this sort of nucleus of arts and culture. So bringing art out and bringing viewers in. I think that there's a real excitement that's going on. I think people have really responded to the staff that works here right now. And I think that we right now have this really incredible group of people that are sort of at the helm. And we have all been described as very approachable and helpful. And I think that that's the sort of key ingredient for encouraging artists to really start talking to each other and to form that sort of like a community of artists that I think is at the center of any art space. Like the only reason for us to be here is if our engagement is, is actually a thing. It, it can't just be a concept, it can't just be a mission, it has to actually happen. And I, I've just seen since I've been here so many genuine relationships form that then start to like, when you cluster them together, start to become the meat of a visual arts community.